When I was a young boy, my folks say that I loved to play in the park. When I was 21, I left playing the game I loved in the South when I found love in the North. When I was 35, I found the secret of raising capital. I wrote a book about it and financed 40 companies in the next 25 years. When I was 58, I received the greatest gift that life has to offer. And it's just like Jesus said in John chapter 3. And now the days are short. I'm in the winter of the year. And I still find joy playing in the park. It's been a very good year. I've been telling folks all my life, I've never met a man who had a better childhood than I. My mom and dad created a wonderful life for a young boy to grow up in. I've been chasing adventures and searching for treasure, trying to catch that brass ring on this merry-go-round of life, determined to find something that would satisfy. Before I was 10, I had promoted two circuses, three boxing matches, one horror show, and a five-mile road race. My Uncle Jim nicknamed me Hot Dog because I was the showman of Union Street. I was always looking for something spectacular out of life. While growing up, family, friends, and neighbors, they taught me their wisdom about life, which were essentially three. One, if you have family, you have everything. Well, this family of Irishmen, my mom in the back row right, influenced my personality more than any other. They were hardworking, fun-loving, song-singing, storytelling, mischief-makers, <laughs> whom I just loved being around. I was the first-born son of seven children, my sister Anne missing from this photo. We had seven sons of our own. Now, would you say I had family? The second piece of worldly wisdom was your health. If you've got good health, you've got everything. Other than childhood vaccination, listen, I never saw a doctor till I was 77 years old. Think of that. There are no records anywhere of me ever going to a doctor or even getting a prescription for some ailment before I was 77 years old. Even now at 85, I wake each day with no pain. Can you believe that? No pain. Would you say that I've had good health? The third piece of man's wisdom was love. If you find love, you've got it all. I met this Italian Sicilian beauty and one day and fell in love at first sight. Don't believe in love at first sight? Ever since that night we've been together, love is at first sight, in love forever. It turned out so right for strangers in the night. We've been married 62 years now. Would you say, I found love? I had met all a man's requirements, all three. I had family, I had good health, God bless him. I had, uh, I found love. What was I looking for? Why was I restless? I was still looking. Was something missing? 
When I was 41, my wife gave me a gift, the Holy Bible. I had never read the Word of God, nor did I wish to, but for her, I began to read, little by little, line upon line. It took 17 years for the wisdom of the Bible to break through this barrier that separated me from God. And on December 17, 1994, while out running all alone, the most wonderful event in the life of a man occurred to me. The deepest sorrow I had ever known came over me, so deep, it caused me to cry out, Lord, I'm so sorry you had to take those stripes for a wretch like me. In a moment, sorrow turned to joy, unspeakable joy, a joy so thrilling it's difficult to explain. Jesus himself, put a name to it in the book of John. He must be born again. This time, not of the will of man, but of the Spirit of God. A true blue miracle at 58 years old. My life changed. I turned from rejecting God's love to becoming the most grateful man, praising the name of Jesus Christ for 28 years now. I took to telling the world what happened to me in places like Iowa, and Indiana, and Alabama, the Carolinas, Florida, and Maine. I was on the radio in Chattanooga, Tennessee and taught the Bible for a year. For 23 years I was the announcer for the radio broadcast Preaching of the Cross in Deland, Florida. I'm a most thankful man. I found the treasure I was seeking all my life, the holy grail of eternal life. Dear ones, I pray you would seek it also. And the journey begins reading and listening to the preaching of the Bible. The Lord will do the rest. And now I'm 85. I'm in the winter of the year, and now I think of my life as one fun run from beginning to the end. I want to thank all of you who came my way. It was a very good year.